Recall that we can compute arithmetic expressions in MATLAB using single values or scalars for variables. For example, these commands compute the value of this mathematical expression for x equal to 1 and x0 equal to 2. The result is a single value that is stored in the variable z. What if we wanted to evaluate the mathematical expression for more than just one value of x? For example, what if we wanted to plot the result of the expression for an entire interval of x values? MATLAB is designed to perform operations on entire arrays of values without focusing on individual elements one at a time. Consider the vector v. Now, let's see a few calculations that involve vectors like v. A scalar and a vector can be multiplied together so that each element of the vector is multiplied by the scalar. These commands multiply each element of the vector v by 3 and store the result in the variable b. Addition and subtraction of arrays in MATLAB are the same as in mathematics. Two arrays can be added or subtracted only if they are the same size. If the arrays are not the same size, an error is generated. What if we wanted to add the same value to each element of v? One approach is to create a vector that is the same size as v where each element is equal to the value being added, and then add the vector to v as in this command. In MATLAB, these are equivalent commands. In the command defining d, MATLAB automatically expands the scalar into a vector that is the appropriate size. What if we wanted to square each element of v? If you try this command, MATLAB will generate an error because the caret symbol that identifies the power operation is actually trying to perform a matrix multiplication of v with itself, an operation that is invalid since v does not have an equal number of rows and columns. Instead of using the matrix power, we should apply an element-wise power, which is denoted by a dot caret, as in this command. This syntax raises each element of the vector v to the second power. The element-wise power operation is one of three element-wise operations, including element-wise multiplication and element-wise division. We can also use element-wise operations with scalars, as we did to square individual elements of the vector v. Now we can compute the mathematical expression for the entire vector v. In this command, we subtract a scalar from a vector, and MATLAB automatically expands the scalar into a vector that is the appropriate size. The result, delta, is a vector that is the same size as v, in which the ith element is the difference between the ith element of v and x0. We can now use delta to compute the mathematical expression, as in this command. The last term, that uses the element-wise power operator, squares each element of delta. The middle term uses scalar multiplication and doubles each element of delta. Finally, the scalar value 1 is automatically expanded into a vector of 1s to match the size of the result from the other two expressions, and the three vectors are added together and finally stored in a new variable, z.